Hey everyone, a couple of months ago I swapped out the outdoor speakers on my camper and since then uh, something just sounds a little bit off. So today I'm going to take the radio off inside and take a look at the wiring and see what's going on. Alright, so here's that classic RV radio that we all know and love. Let's take this off. This plate here just comes right off. And then you'll see four screws. Take those four screws out and the radio comes off. All right, so the radio's out. If you come along to the back here and take a look, you've got your HDMI cable right here going to the TV, your antenna cable, your red and white audio going to the TV, and then this mess of wires right here. One cool thing that they did, if you take a look at this, it shows you all the positions, uh, the output wires, and what they do. And so we're going to use that to help us troubleshoot this today. All right, so the wires we're looking for are the purple, purple black, which is right here, and then the orange, orange black, which is right here. They each go to uh the respective speakers everything looks good on the purple purple black wires uh, one is purple one's black you may be able to see the stripe there here's the one that it's crimped to that's got the black on it also and then these are just plain purple so we're all good there let's go up here and check out the orange okay here's our orange black this wire right here that it's crimped to looks like it's orange if we come over here, this wire right here appears to be orange, but this one is orange black. So it looks like at the factory they wired this particular pair up backwards. So we're going to go ahead and uh, recrimp those orange black to orange black, orange to orange. All right, so to do this, I have my set of wire cutter splicers and then my little barrel splicer right here. The way this works is you insert one in the wire in here and then using the crimper right there, squeeze it down, do the same thing to the other side. Uh, unfortunately my lovely assistant is not here with me this weekend so I will go ahead and crimp it and then show you the end result. All right, our crimps are complete. Uh, we have orange to orange and orange to black. Now, taking a look at the rest of those wires on here, it appears that they are the same way the orange and the purple, or the orange ones were, which is kind of weird because the purple ones were the way they should be. So, for instance, these pinks. I've got pink to pink black, black pink to pink. Yellows are the same way. White is the same way, and yet my purples were purple black to purple black. Another fine wiring job from the factory. We're going to go ahead and put this back together. I'm going to test it out and see if there's any difference. All right, so I went ahead and tested it, put the radio back together, and they sound uh, significantly better. The issue that I was running into is that when you stood directly in between the two speakers, it sounded like they were trying to cancel each other out. Now that I swapped that wire, those two wires, um, and made the polarities correct, it sounds like true stereo, and that's exactly what I was looking for. As for the issue with the interior speakers, we honestly don't use those too much. We use these outdoor ones a lot more than the indoor ones. Um, I've never noticed it on the indoor ones, so I'm going to leave it as is for now. Uh, but if it bothers me in the future, I'll go ahead and swap those as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.